Munich, the season of 2014-2015 was an extremely exciting one. Today, we want to take some time to revisit the season's biggest highlights. When a new season kicks off, it's also always a time of change. The reshuffling during the summer months led to the arrival of plenty of new faces here at the Bayern headquarters. Robert Lewandowski, Sebastian Rode and Gianluca Gaudino were the first signings. Later came Juan Bernat, Pepe Reina and Sinan Kurt. Some players didn't join the team until the very last second. Mehdi Benatia came to Munich four days before the transfer window closed on August 27th and his first act of duty wasn't necessarily football related. Die erste wichtige Frage, die sich Deutschland schon äh, seit ein paar Tagen stellt, wie wird dein Name richtig ausgesprochen? Buongiorno a tutti. Eh, si può dire Benatia o Benatia non cambia poco. And Xavi Alonso came even later on August 29th. The Spanish midfielder pretty much hit the ground running. Only one day after arriving, he was already on the pitch and integrated perfectly into his new team. One of the season's biggest topics was the long list of injured players Pep Guardiola had to deal with. Unsere Situation ist sehr kritisch, sehr kritisch. Wir sind 16 Spieler, nicht mehr. Heute wir haben wir 14 Spieler. Wir haben Spieler für Rotieren. In diesem Moment ein Spieler kann ich spielen. 10 Minuten, 15 Minuten ist okay. So, danke. A list that would actually make itself for a pretty decent squad. Let's see who we missed during the season. Pepe Reina, Tom Starke, Holger Badstuba, Medi Benatia, David Alaba, Philipp Lahm, Rafinha, Javi Martinez, Thiago Alcantara, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Mitchell Weiser, Franck Ribery, Arjen Robben und Claudio Pizarro. Wir haben einen breiten Kader mit viel Qualität, also wir können das kompensieren. Wenn andere Spieler dann spielen, dann muss man vielleicht auch ein bisschen umdenken und dann verändert sich auch ein bisschen das Spiel für uns. Das heißt aber nicht, dass wir schlechter spielen dadurch. Ich hoffe. <laughs> yeah. In spite of this additional complication for the team, the forecast for this season was cloudy with a chance of goal showers. On Valentine's Day, Pep's boys had a special present for the fans. Well, Müller's going to take this uh, penalty and he scores the 1 0. Mario Götze scores. The 2-0 on Robin scores his 13th of the season and Robin scores his second 5-0 by him. 6-0, 7-0, Götze makes it 8-0. Let's be honest, who needs flowers if you can have an 8-0 win in the home game against Hamburg? But not only in the Bundesliga, the fans got to see plenty of goals. In the Champions League round of the last 16, Shakhtar Donetsk visited the Allianz Arena and left with the excess luggage of seven goals. Bayern Munich equal their highest win in Champions League history. 7-0 against the Ukrainian team with Holger Batshtuva scoring his first goal in five years. Definitely one of the most beautiful moments of the season. But of course, we can't look back on the season without remembering its bitter sides. In the DFB Cup semi-finals, Bayern were up against historic rival Dortmund. After two hours, the scoreboard was still showing a 1-1 tie. Time for a penalty shootout. And then this happened. Bayern need a miracle. Now they need Neuer to score. And then the next two Dortmund players to miss. It's Neuer against Langerak Manuel. Neuer hits the crossbar and it's over. Another painful defeat came in two acts. In the first leg of the Champions League semi-finals, Bayern were up against FC Barcelona and lost 3-0. Even the 3-2 victory in the second leg couldn't turn things around anymore, but the fans were still extremely proud of the Reds, who fought until the very last second. Ich fand es war trotzdem eine super Leistung vom Team. Ich bin, war hinterher echt stolz auf die Mannschaft. Gesehen, die Mannschaft hat gekämpft bis zum Schluss und wir haben uns aber würdig verabschiedet aus der Champions League. Ich bin, ich bin stolz, Bayern-Fan zu sein, definitiv. Äh, nächstes Jahr holen wir das Ding.
This was only the beginning. If you want to keep reviewing this past season, click here. If you'd like to check out some of the season's funniest moments, click here. And if you never want to miss any of our content again, hit the subscribe button.